First of all, I gotta ask something, all right? You got a radio show, you're doing the ESPN thing, you got that big column in the Washington Post. We gotta get some branding on you. Where's your branding? What do you got? No, I'm just wearing I'm wearing the President's Cup now because my friend George Berger, who twenty five years ago we played on the same softball team together in Washington, DC. I was the pitcher, he was the catcher. We've been friends that long and he ran the President's Cup. So I hit him up for as much free clothing as he would give me. I, it's, I don't. I don't really need a brand. I'm wearing my brand. I got PTI on, and I think somewhere on my underwear it says Washington Post. So I'm okay. Now, if I had branding, it would be for Rogaine. Well, uh, you know, that's why be... I'm not taking my hat off. Yeah, that's why the hat's or, or my, for my golf game, Mack Truck would be an excellent brand for me. I'm not a very good golfer. I try real hard, and I play a lot. But the golfer in my family is my son. He's a pretty good player. About that. In, in, in terms of your game, do you have a passion for this? Is this something that you pull together? Um, how often are you able to play? On my, at my age, passion is not a word that is operable anymore. Once you pass 50, passion is gone. I try to play about twice a week if I can. I mean, even more than that, if I get afternoons off. If PTI is dark one afternoon, I'll go out and play. I got down this year, uh, a couple of months ago, I got all the way to a 13, which was uncharted territory for me. And now I'm back up where I belong at about 16. And You know, I, I, I really enjoy it. I can no longer run. My knees are bad. I can't play softball or basketball. This is the sport I can play, and, and it's the sport I can play with my son. And that's, I mean, he drums me, but it's fun to go out with him. All right. DC Cap. They're the ones who will benefit ultimately from this sure. event today. Sure. That's a great thing. I've worked for Don Graham. Wilbon and I have worked for Don Graham for 26 years. And until two years ago, he never asked us for a thing. And we both think the world of him and would follow him to the ends of the earth. And he said, would you guys put your name on this golf tournament? We had never even heard of DC Cap. And he explained that to put kids who graduated from DC high schools into college, he was taking the money out of his own pocket. And I mean, he's got money, but nobody has that much money. And we were eager and happy to help. Um, and we'll continue to do that. We just hope it doesn't rain every single time we hold the golf tournament. Yeah, and you've been such a great host to have concern for the guests who are here. Well, that's it. People have paid a lot of money to play in these foursomes. I don't think so much it's been to play with celebrities necessarily, because to be truthful, I mean, most of these guys here are sort of C-list and D-list celebrities, just like me and Wilma. We're not in anybody's A-list. But I think, I think you want them to be able to play the round. I mean, they've contributed a lot of money. They've gotten a lot of gifts. But you'd like them to be able to play. You'd like it to be dry enough so that they can play. This is two out of three years for us that we've had rain, and, and maybe maybe next year we'll have beautiful weather. Okay, let me ask you a couple other questions. Who would you rather be your caddy, Wilbon or Eva Longoria? I don't think she can lift the bag. <laughs> I'd end up having to lift the bag, and then I'd be staring at her so hard that I'd chip in a hole and I'd break my ankle, so I'd rather have Wilbon. Uh, you would now? No, I'd much rather. The, the thought that Wilbon would carry the bag and advise me on shots when he is as, absolutely as bad as I am and we could yell at each other, he'd say, take a five, and I'd say, no, I think it's a seven. He'd say, no, no, take a five. You have no strength. You have no strength. You can't hit the seven. That'd be fun for us. All right, so who would keep the scorecard? You, Wilbon. Wilbon cheats. He keeps the score. <laughs> it's so good to talk to you. Thanks for taking time out. Very welcome. Thank you.